but the reason that I brought rubbing alcohol is because a lot of times these these markers do dry out and I actually find if you soak them in some rubbing alcohol that draws up the ink to the tip a little bit better so if you happen to have these around your house and then you're like trying to do the science with me and it's not working maybe dab it into a little bit of rubbing alcohol and that will get the ink up I'm gonna draw a picture and the trick about the picture is that you want it to be continuous but I'm not gonna lose any connectivity to my drawing so there's a solvent that's keeping the ink wet and that solvent is not water okay and what I find is that that solvent evaporates off of the marker but you want to let that dry for you know probably about a minute or two and then I find don't pour water onto your figure, but just use a little squirt bottle to get the water onto your figure. Because if I was to take a dish and pour that in, or the, a cup and pour it in, it actually ruins my figure, okay? It ruins my picture. So what you're gonna see, because the, the ink in this is not water soluble, it's not gonna dissolve in water. If I were to put the rubbing alcohol on this, it would dissolve in the water, okay? but this is not water soluble, so it's not gonna dissolve. And then, get, give it a second, I can see this figure lifting up a little bit, and I try and get water into the pan enough that, there you go, watch this. Look, my figure's move. Oh, look, I made a mobile art, a, a mobile piece of art using a little bit of science. Isn't that cool? I don't always have success the first time, but that's not bad. And you can put your finger in there and move them around, but that's usually when I start to uh, break my little guy apart. But I guess he's not breaking apart. Well, let's try this one. I'll try this one, okay. Again, I find, I find a little squirt on him first, just to kind of break him up off of the glass. And also, the ink is floating on the water. That's also key. So if the ink was not going to be light enough to float, this activity wouldn't work either. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I have like success number two. You gotta try it, look, and he's like swimming. Swimming, swimming, there you go, okay. I like, just keep swimming. You could even make Dory, right? Okay, last one, and see if we can get two of them kind of moving around. That one I think I squirted a little bit too quickly. And then I like to, like I see, see how I'm getting them wet first? I find that works best because then if you put water around them, they've already started to be mobile and it doesn't push them apart. Okay, so it kind of keeps your figure a little bit more. Okay, so then I'm gonna get enough water into the pan to let them move. And even just by squirting the water, right? They're kind of moving. So yeah, so there we go. We got two mobile art pieces right there. This one's my favorite though, I will say. Okay, they're all pretty good though. And you can try different colors. I like blue and black out of all the inks. The green is a little bit too light, but yeah, try your little science at home. Really fun, really simple. And there you go. Oh.